Ryan, thanks for talking to you. It's been a, a few weeks since we last had a catch up, but uh, you must have enjoyed the performance against Jordan. Yeah, I thought, you know, to a man, we were outstanding today and um, I'm glad we got a point, but, you know, really we shouldn't settle for a point because, as, as you could see, we were far the better team. How enjoyable is it to, you know, play in a team when crew clicks? Yeah, brilliant, obviously, you know, when everyone's confident and enjoying the football like today, you know, we play with no fear and everyone knows the role, so when it's like that, it's, it feels easy for players because you know where they're going to be and, and it's enjoyable and obviously, you know, hopefully the fans enjoyed it too. And of course, you, you came back twice, you know, you, you, you've played really well but gone behind twice in the game, so what does that do, you know, for, for, for everybody? Yeah, obviously it shows character uh, within the squad, you know, during like the middle of the season we've been losing games and not coming back and um, you know the gaffer just said just keep going and when you go behind don't think oh you're going to go behind and behind and behind like you know like Oxford um, and just you know bounce back from it and be positive and that's what we did tonight It's all good for the club isn't it that they can show that coming to places like Charlton and you've been to other grounds this season bigger bigger clubs with bigger bigger budgets that you can compete yeah, definitely. You know, we all want to be playing in grounds like this every week, so that's the aim, really. And um, if we can perform like that every week, we won't be far off. A bit of a battle going on now for the top goal scorer. Is there a bit of a talk in the dressing room between a Mandron and a, and a Dale? Well, Dale, I don't know. He's adding goals to his tally. Oh, you're team, right. Good but, lad. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think, well, he is on you... level. We've done the record book, so let's put it straight. Whatever he says, he's on twelve now. Right, okay. So and, and Mandron's on twelve, so he can't add any more. But he's done well, hasn't he, Owen Dale? Yeah, brilliant. And you know, he's had a run of games now with this year, and he's taken his chance brilliantly. And you know, you can't fault him. You know, second finish, tired legs. People just thrash it and it goes wide, and he's stuck in the top bin. So credit to him. I've been out for a few weeks with injury, which you, you wouldn't have wanted. You wanted to keep playing, but you, you show you, you're back and you, you feel feel OK. Yeah, obviously, you know, when you have a lot of run of games, you don't do um, the stuff inside as much, so you get little niggles and whatnot, and you try and get through it. But sometimes, you you know, you just need a little bit of a breather and get fit again, and hopefully, you know, I'm fit now for the end of the season. Is that how important is it that you want to finish on a on a, on a strong note for you on a personal, personal basis? Yeah, definitely, you know... Um, we want to finish off with another two wins and two good performances and, you know, push on. And you obviously, if everybody knows, you're running out of contract. Is, is there anything happening with that? Is it not affecting you, the, 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 the contract situation? No, it's not affecting me at all. You know, I'm just here to enjoy my football. I'm contracted to this football club at the moment and, you know, I just want to enjoy it while I'm here. And it's done a lot for you, hasn't it, while you've been here? You've put your games in, but the football club's given you the chance. Yeah, they've been brilliant with me, you know. Brought me in from a kid when I was... You know, I'm not going to say, but working at KFC, um, <laughs> and you know, I've you know playing in stadiums like this, and I never thought when I was a 17 year old kid that I'd be here now. And I'm just happy that crew have given me the chance, and hopefully, I've repaid that. What is it all down to you and your agent now to sort out what happens once the season's over? Yeah, I haven't spoke to him for a while, so I'm just you know let him let him get on with it, and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Cheers, and thanks for talking to us. Well played. Cheers.